Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another vlog and uh, the our our second only contract um, as the agency or with our own agency, which is great. So the pallet here is two thousand liters of liquid fertilizer, and our sprayer takes a thousand, if I'm not mistaken. And that looks like it's full. Oh, and it's got a spray thing. Look, that's so cool. This tractor was literally made for this. <laughs> anyway, righto. So we're going to leave that there for now. We're going to go and find this field. I believe it's left and then immediate right. And then it's a very big field across the road from the uh, one of these bu businesses. So it's hard to miss, apparently. But, I mean, I might miss it because have you met me um and then i might have to just look i think this might be the field actually let me just pull over here right let me just i think this and that one is it yep literally this one <laughs> that one it's very close all right, happy days. This is going to be very, very... It's going to be quite a job um, because... Ooh, you know what? Didn't bring my drone with me. I do have my camera, and I can attach my camera to, like, things. But, um, I might have to... Go, I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's, let's do this, or at least a bit of this field first. Let's actually unfold this. I have no idea what the size actually is here. Oh, it goes quite wide. Yeah, well, it's... What did I say? Uh, I think it was 12 meters. Yeah, I think it was 12 meters. Not 100% sure on that. If I can remember correctly, I believe it's 12 meters, but I might be wrong. All right. Now, this will be quite a slow job. But it's not the end of the world. 840. And off we go. All right. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a quite a slow job, uh, slow job. And I'm going to, you know, do a couple of things with the camera and try and make it fairly entertaining for you guys. So, you know, I'll put it, like, hold it here for a little bit. You know, the usual stuff we do for, uh, for, for, you know, all of this stuff. You know, hold it there for a little bit. Maybe put the camera on the roof or, or on one of these arms or something. All right. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Turns out that I just got a little 
little bit south, just a little bit north of the Georgia line. done that took way too long it took literally an entire day i think there's literally just, yeah <laughs> a couple of liters in that left uh so all of that's done and i have uh given the lady a call told her that we are done fertilizing her fields and i'm kind of just looking i'm kind of inclined to buy one of those planters <laughs> i don't know Either way, I have to take this back home first. So let's do that. And uh, yeah, so hopefully by the time we get home, we would have gotten paid. But yeah, that took a long time. It is currently the whole day went past it. It's 4.16. It's been a long day. It took, took a long day. And as you would have seen, um, uh, after the first field, I went and um, got the drone which allowed me to do a little bit of drone footage. I didn't take too much, didn't pay too much effort uh, or attention to what the drone was doing. I pretty much just put it up quite high on follow mode and then just got working just because it it was, if I messed around with different shots and different angles and, you know, different positions of the drone, etc., it would have, um, yeah, been a, been a lot later. So it was, I think the right choice uh we would have gotten well well into darkness and then obviously you can't even see then so yeah i am very happy with how this tractor handled that job though i have to say it moved quite well it pulled at about 12 kilometers an hour which which isn't super fast but you know uh especially the second field was quite bumpy because they recently had a plant or a cedar on there and uh it changed the uh the surface of the field quite quite bad not badly but quite made it quite bumpy so and the tractor handled it quite well to be honest i'm quite happy uh obviously there's a very good stabilizer on this camera and also take it through uh stabilizing software so you guys most of the time don't even notice but it gets quite bouncy in these tractors uh which is why i tend to drink my coffee while i'm driving rather than on the field i do sometimes when it's when it's you know not too too bad of a field like ryan's field was was very very smooth actually um a little bit bumpy but the seats got springs in and you know it wasn't too bad so i was able to drink but most of the time i either drink when i'm standing still or just driving on a normal road because it's it gets bouncy but yeah that was good that was a good good big job hopefully we get paid um i think it's gonna be I think it's just over i can't remember now but i think it's just over six grand for the large field and just over four grand for the small field which wasn't a small field at all it was just smaller than the other one so that's a good well, that's 10 to maybe 12 grand in our pocket for that which means we're going to be at twenty-four thousand dollars. that's a good day that's a very good day we've made a lot of money today not in this vlog a lot of money today previous vlog obviously we uh got the nine thousand from ryan from doing that extortionately large field <laughs> and but with his equipment which was really easy and oh that's the other thing i need to check on the chickens i definitely want uh to, yeah okay cool so i might have to go buy some chicken feed let me quickly stop 
jump out here. So I uh, have been from time to time getting some chicken feet. Yeah, definitely need to go buy some chicken. There's still enough there for maybe a couple of days, but I want to go go do it now just to get it get it done, get it out of the way, rather than you know maybe forgetting about it, getting so busy with contracts because it does seem like it's picking up, and then you know forgetting to do it completely, which obviously would not be ideal. So I'm gonna pull in here. Whoa, getting a bit close to that trailer of ours. And then make a nice big turn here. Definitely need to invest in a shed at some point. Right, so we do have some spray, some fertilizer. Actually, I'm gonna, I might drop that off. Um, I'll keep it in there for now because it seems like it's fertilizer season. So we might actually be getting quite a lot of uh, fertilizer jobs. And then let's pull this tractor in here. We're driving there anyway. We're driving back to <laughs> the dealership anyway. Uh, and I'm going to ask Mike when we're there what else they still have that isn't necessarily displayed today that maybe, you know, maybe I can I can get ahead of the curve a little bit, you know, and maybe get some more. Yeah, some more implements on a good deal before somebody else takes it, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Ask Mike if there's anything else. And, um, because we've got 20, potentially 24,000. I'll have to check actually what exactly the amount is going to be. Obviously, a lot of this just goes straight into the business, straight into the agency, which currently I'm the only employee. So it technically speaking goes all to me <laughs> and I do have to pay myself some form of salary, but, uh, I don't really, you know, there's no, there's no guideline. Essentially, I'm the director, so I can pretty much, you know, take what I need to. But also, I probably won't take a lot most of the time. And obviously, because it's still all in my name and my company, <coughs> excuse me, I can also use it on the farm. And I can actually, if I wanted to, I could probably put the farm... Yeah, I could probably hand the farm over to the agency, to the company. That might be a good idea. So the company is liable for all, for it all. I just am an employee of the company, or even though I own the company and it, you know, it's all mine. But yeah, I don't know. I'll have a look. I'll have I'll have a speak a chat to some someone that's got a company. I think Ryan might have a company outside of just farming. Jack's had companies before, so he might be a good dude to talk to as well. I don't know. We'll see. Well, uh, we'll see you. I'm going very fast. This is what happens when I'm talking while driving. I uh, lose track of how fast I'm actually going. And this truck, because it's so big, why am I indicator on? Because it's so big and it, it runs very smooth. Don't always realize how fast I'm going. Anyway, I'm going to get some chicken feed, get, have them loaded up on the back. And then uh, while they do that, I'll have a look at what else Mike and the guys have to offer. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, as you can see, uh, we got paid. I'm just trying to put it there. There you go. We got paid $4,800 for the smaller field and $8,408 for the larger field. So that puts us at just under $24,000. Uh, Mike said they do actually have quite a lot left. So what he's going to do is essentially just send me an email of everything that they've still got. And then I can pick through that, have a look, and then, you know, go from there, see what I actually want to get and um you know what i want to look at then maybe depending on on the order they might be able to put some stuff out for me specifically but we'll see we'll see that uh, i need to have a look at actually what we kind of would need um because i'm not really sure uh, i did put my jacket on by the way because it's it was warm on the truck because in the tractor because the sun shone 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 on it <laughs> oh man my brain sometimes the the sun kept it nice and warm and actually the heating was on so yeah it was quite nice in there but um yeah outside here it's not as warm so yeah i did put my jacket on don't worry uh so yeah we're gonna have a look at the email once once it's arrived he will he will compile the list for me and then we'll have to decide i think I think a second tractor would be a good good call, but I don't know if we've got enough money for that. We might have to do a couple of more contracts before we actually do that. 
you know, before we get to buy another tractor. I don't know. And then at the same time, I don't want to be buying too much. Um, oh, sorry. The chicken feed costs us $2,080. Excuse me. It's been a long day. Uh, so we would have had... Near, yeah, we would have actually had $26,000. And that's the other thing, obviously. Won't be, won't have to buy that all the time. Whoa! 